Hey, what's going on YouTube? Thatcher here, back for another fragrance review. Right now, I'm going to be doing a review of a fragrance from the House of Yves Saint Laurent. That is going to be the flanker to the original Lome, and that's going to be Lome Libre. Or Libre, Libra, however you want to say it. Now, before I get into it, I just want to mention that this fragrance here has been hated on a lot. It's been hated on kind of in the same way that Blue Day Chanel has been hated on. And, and that's kind of funny because it kind of smells similar to Blue Day Chanel. I mean, it doesn't smell like it, but it shares the same pink pepper note in it. And I think that's what reminds me of Blue Day Chanel. Because you could definitely point that out right here. This fragrance is really not the complex. There's only three notes in it. And that's bergamot, pink pepper, and patchouli. It is well blended for being, just being what it is. It's just a fresh, masculine, clean scent. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty linear. It does change a little bit. It's very fresh off the top. Very, um, very like a citrusy, spicy smell that's gonna last about about half of the fragrance. You know, and overall this fragrance can last around eight hours. So for about a good three, four hours, it stays really fresh, and it starts to get a little spicier, it starts to get a little closer to the skin. Then it, you know, then it finally ends up as the skin scent goes away. But for a daytime scent, I mean, it, it does its job. Uh, this one here, um, is for as much hate that it gets. I think that people are really just hating on it simply because uh, it's another flanker to the lum line, and there's like twenty million thousand. Uh, flanker said alum line and you know quite frankly you know it's, if, if I own a perfume business and you know I was making money off of flankers from a pro, uh, original perfume that I sold and I know that I could put out another flanker make money off of it I probably do the same thing too and you would too so don't hate on it just because it's a flanker and they're making money off it you know that's really the reason why people are hating on it they're as far as the fragrance they say it's generic Okay, well, a lot of fragrances are generic. I mean, sometimes you want a generic fragrance. You know, for what this is, it's marketed as a casual scent. Casual as, you know, lunch date, work, play, maybe go to the movies, you know, social events, things like that. You know, situations where you might not want to wear a daring fragrance. It's not marketed as a clubbing scent. It's not marketed as a collector scent. It's marketed as a casual scent. So it's doing what it's supposed to do. There's no reason to hate on it for that reason. Now, for a scent, yeah, it's nothing special. I mean, it's nothing groundbreaking, but it is a nice, clean, uh, fresh scent. And as far as the uh, top notes go, I, mean, I think I like the top notes of this one probably just as much as the uh, as La Nuite Loam. You know, La Nuite and Loam is probably one of my favorite fragrances. I mean, to me, that's just my go-to date scent. I mean, go-to night with my girlfriend scent. It's like, man, that's just like the sexiest scent in the world that... I have a tie between that and Dior Room Intense. This one here is sort of, it's a very sexy scent. I mean, it's its really nice. So when I first got this, you know, I was working at a gym. I was going to school. So in between somewhere, I had a break and I went to the mall to go get this. And like right away when I put this on, I got probably six or seven compliments in one day. And every time I wore this since then, I always got at least one compliment when I wore it. And I don't know, man. So I don't see what all the hate's about, you know. So I just want to kind of shine a little light on this right here. I mean, I think it's worth a take a, taking a look at it. If you do like Blue Day Chanel, um, then you definitely want to give this one a try. I mean, the pink pepper note in here is pretty much the same. And you're going to get the same kind of vibe. It doesn't smell like Blue Day Chanel, but it's you can see similarities. You can see parallels. You can see, you know, when you sniff this, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's got that really nice spicy kind of sweet. Not not sweet, but like citrusy, spicy smell between the pink pepper and the bergamot. So, I mean, you can really pick that out. Blue Day Chanel has that grapefruit note on the top that makes it a little different than this. So, it doesn't quite smell like Blue Day Chanel, but you'll definitely, it has the same vibe as that. It's like in the same genre as that. So, um, um, off the top, it's uh, very fresh. That's going to last you about two to three hours. About after that, another four to six hours, it's going to start to dry down a little bit. And it's going to get a little more spicier, a little more closer to the skin. And overall, I'll get about eight hours out of this. So uh, for as far as a daytime scent, you know, th that's pretty good. You know, you're gonna, I get really good longevity out of this. Like, it performs really well. Uh, the overall compliments, I mean, it it's really amazes me. Because, you know, I've seen the reviews for this where I got it. I didn't expect much, but, you know, I had to try for myself. I don't really listen to what people say. I always give things a fair shake and... When I got this, I, had to admit, I did like it. I thought it was fresh. I mean, I love the bottle, too. I mean, a bottle out of all the loan bottles. I mean, this one's really the coolest one. I mean, it looks good on my shelf, but, you know, it's it's a bottle. I mean, I don't really know what's most important is the scent. So, so we make sure I'm getting what I pay for. <laughs> so, um, I mean, it's not worth paying retail price because you can get it discounted. If I had to pay retail price for this, I probably wouldn't buy it. I debated buying this again when this runs out. I mean, I don't know. I might. 
And I was, for a while, you know, it was sitting on my shelf and I haven't worn it in a while. I said, well, let me break it down and use it. When I, once I put it on again, I said, well, why was I not using it? I mean, it's, it's a really good, just kind of Swiss Army knife to pull out, you know, just when it's for something casual, just something during the day, you know, just hanging out, kicking it with a girlfriend or, you know, just whatever. I mean, just anything that's casual. You can dress up with it, too, if you want to. I mean, it's just safe. It's pleasing. I mean, nobody's going to dislike this. The only thing is, though, um, I think that it, it can get a little cloying because it is strong. It is strong. So it's like, you know, you want to wash the trigger on this one. Don't go any more than like really three or four sprays. I mean, even four sprays is too much. This can be pulled off in the summertime. Just, yeah, again, you know, to watch the high heat, I would think like, you know, really this shines in between 80, 90 degree weather. And even that, if it's kind of humid, you kind of might want to wash this, you know, kind of back down the sprays a little bit, like two sprays and around 90 degrees or so. Anything more than that can, can get a little cloying if you're inside. If you're outside, I won't worry about it too much. Three, four sprays should be all right. Now, um, one last thing about to say about this right here. Like I said, it is marketed just as a casual set, but women find this to be very sexy. They really like this one. They seem to really go crazy over it, and I couldn't believe it. It's like when I got it, it's like just compliments at the gym, you know, even just when I was at a doctor's office. Like, you know, they're just like, oh, like, what's that? You smell nice. It's like, like everybody, everybody was saying, I was getting nothing but compliments with it, and it's like all the hate that was going on with this. So, I mean, if you want to hate this fragrance because Loam is popular and they're making millions of dollars off of fragrance, fine. So, but if, you know, if you want to, don't hate on it because it's generic. Don't hate on it because, you know, and it's not like a collector's dream. It's not marketed for that. It's market. No one's, they're not lying about anything. No one's trying to trick anybody and say, hey, check this out. This is special. Then you buy it. Oh, now it's generic. Well, it was supposed to be generic. It was marketed as generic. It's marketed as casual. It's doing what it's supposed to do. So it's definitely worth a try. So that's, well, I'm just going to end that up, end on that note right there. I'm going on too much, but I'm getting into my rating system here. Projection nine. And this thing projects like a beast for the first few hours. I mean, you're going to, people are going to smell you with this one. So, I mean, depending on the heat and, and um, the occasion and the environment you're in, you might want to wash the trigger. I usually do about three sprays, like one on the neck, one on uh, in, inside each elbow, or one on the chest, or two on the neck, something like that. But you definitely don't want to shower in this thing because, you know, it's a fresh fragrance, but, you know, it's heavy. It's a heavy, fresh fragrance. So, you want to watch the trigger on this one here. Longevity, I give this an 8 out of 10. Uh, I mean, you're going to get like probably eight hours of this. I usually get between six and eight and it projects really well for the first four. So, you know, and it gets a little, starts to get a little closer, not quite a skin scent, but they're always like, it's like a little bubble, but it does get to be a skin scent like around six to eight hours, maybe the last two. So, you know, it definitely, it does its job. I mean, for a daytime fresh fragrance, you know, it, it does its job. You know, I get my money's worth out of this one. I get what I want. Versatility, nine. You know, it's it's ver it's good for anything, man. You know, it's dress up, dress down. You can dress up with this. You know, it's casual scent, but you can if you wanted to. I mean, if you wear a suit and tie, it's a daytime, it's a summer. You know, it's, I mean, this is gonna fit that perfectly. You know, it's like it's not nothing great. It's nothing impressive, but like super impressive. It's not sophisticated in any kind of way. It's just a very clean, masculine, fresh smell, and it's a really good smell. So I overall I'd give this a 9 out of 10 for versatility. Overall smell, I'd give it an 8. It's got a great oak ring. It's a nice, spicy, citrus, uh, citrus. Nice, spicy, fresh citrus smell. Um, good for any occasion. Lots of compliments. So i give it a solid 8 out of 10. Overall, i give it an 8 out of 10. It deserves an 8 out of 10. It uh, doesn't deserve the hate that it's getting. Um, if you want to try it and you don't like it, then, then yeah, you can hate it for that reason. If you don't like it. <laughs> but don't hate it for marketing reasons don't hate it for you know collection purpose reasons it's not marketed to be anything special it's marketed to be a fun fresh just clean casual scent and it's doing what it's supposed to do so overall I'll give it an 8 so that's it for my review thanks for watching please comment rate subscribe and I'll see you next time